If you are getting this message and the Logitech G Hub software on Mac OS, then this video just might have the fix that you need. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to look at the number one reason as to why your Logitech gaming devices such as like your G915, your G502, things of that nature are not showing up or are showing inactive within the Logitech G Hub software on a Mac operating system. Of course at any point during this video if you find it useful, you get something out of it, it fixes your issues, you know somebody that could use this video, be sure to give the video a like and of course share it to them as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into things. To get started, you can either do this with all of your Logitech devices, the USBs or the, the Bluetooth or anything like that plugged in or not plugged in, it doesn't really matter. But the first thing that you're gonna do is on your Mac, you're gonna want to go up to your Apple menu, click on the system preferences here, and then you're gonna wanna find and navigate to the security and privacy section. Once we've done that, you're gonna want to go over here to the privacy tab and on the left hand side, just like we do with a lot of Mac stuff is we're gonna scroll all the way down to the accessibility. And you'll notice that a lot of these apps are already have the check marks in them, but they're also grayed out. So what you're gonna to need to do is come on down to the bottom left here on the padlock, click it. You can use your um, fingerprint if you have the Touch ID set up. If not, you will need to use the password in order to make changes to this machine. Once you've done that, you can see everything is now highlighted and we're able to scroll through this list. And you'll notice that my Logitech G Hub is not showing that it has a check mark in it. So if I were to go into the G Hub software here and let it load, you're gonna see that my G915, even though I have it connected via Bluetooth, is actually showing inactive. So even though I can control it on a very basic level or yours may not even be connected at all, um, I can't do anything with it. I can't change the RGB lights on there. I can't change any of the settings within the keyboard. And that's where this is gonna come into play. So we're gonna move back over to the security and privacy here. And you're gonna want to come on down and just check the box on the Logitech G Hub software. You can then click this little check button or the little padlock so you can lock those settings in. And then what you're gonna need to do is if we go back over to the G Hub software, we're gonna to want to shut it down and we're gonna to want to restart it. So Logitech. And you can see now that we've given the permissions within the accessibility options, it's downloading the resources and it should fully connect. And I'm able to change all of the settings on here. It shows my rate, my freestyle, anything that you want to adjust on your keyboard, you can now do it as well as it shows your battery percentage if you have the wireless. Uh, same thing with the G502 or really any other Logitech's uh, devices, Logitech gaming devices that are used within this application will start connecting properly now that you've given the proper permissions. So there you have it. Like I said, super easy fix. If you're still having some troubles, of course, always reach out to me down in the comment section. Uh, down in the video description, I will leave the links for the download for the Mac OS and the Windows OS if you're wanting to use that. But uh, aside from that, again, if you know somebody that could use this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe while you're down there. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for what you guys do, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.